I work for the European Lung Foundation, which is an organisation affiliated to the European Respiratory Society. And what we do is we work with the European Respiratory Society to communicate information about lung disease to the patients and the public. And we also work to get patients and the public involved in the work of the European Respiratory Society. The European Respiratory Society Congress is the biggest respiratory congress in the world. We have around 25,000 people who come to the conference each year to learn about lung health and disease. And my responsibility working for ELF is to make sure that we communicate what we're doing to the public and people external to the congress. The impact that we have is via our campaign called the Healthy Lungs for Life campaign. And this campaign was founded in 2014 with the idea of raising awareness about lung health and why it's important to prevent lung disease. So we focus on four topics, that's smoking cessation, being physically active, having regular vaccinations and breathing clean air. The campaign aims to educate the public and patients but also healthcare professionals within the Congress um, about the importance of these topics and the importance of keeping our lungs healthy. The Healthy Lungs for Life campaign is a really key part of the Congress and it's been growing in importance. Up until now it doesn't have a bearing on the selection of the Congress destination so there's many other factors that the European Respiratory Society take into account but increasingly the importance and the opportunity we have to impact on the local city is playing a greater role and so in the future it might be something we consider at a much earlier stage. So a really key part of the Healthy Lungs for Life campaign is working with people locally. So there's no way that we can do the campaign as the ERS and the ELF coming into a city from far away. So what we do is we develop relationships with the local respiratory society, with the local patient organisations. We work really closely with the Convention Bureau and also if and when we can the city. Because what we're aiming to do is really have positive health messages for the city itself. We need the city to buy into it and we need the city to support us. So quite often they'll be giving us a space free within the city. They'll also help us by um, sending down representatives of the city for our openings, for our press events, helping us with communications, with advertising, etc. So it really is about building relationships with people locally to have a big impact in the city that we're coming to. Locally, we measure a, a number of indicators, so how many people may have seen our adverts, how many people will have seen um, articles in newspapers about what we're doing. The most important figure for us is how many people come to the event, have their lungs tested, but really what they're going to do afterwards. So someone will come to our public event, they'll take a lung function test, they may be told they've got a problem with their lungs, so they'll go away and do something about it, but they may be told that their lungs are healthy, but in order to keep them healthy, they need to be physically active. So what we do is when they leave the event, we ask them whether there's anything about their current way of life that they will change based on the information that they've been given at the event. And that gives us some sense of whether this really is making a difference above and beyond the number of people who've been exposed to the event. The reason we started with Healthy Lungs for Life is because lung disease is really under-recognised. So we all have lungs, we breathe, that's the first thing we do when we're born, it's the last thing we do when we die. But people really don't think about lung health, they think about heart disease, they think about cancer, they'll give money for heart disease and cancer but often not for lung disease. I think it suffers from this perception that you, if you have a lung disease you've been a smoker. So what we really try to do is make people think about breathing, think about how important it is. When you do a lung function test it actually takes quite a bit of effort which means you have to think about what you're doing. So we wanted a really positive campaign, we wanted people to really think about their lungs and to care about their lungs and to look after them. Sí, claro, hemos aprendido que la salud pulmonar está muy infravalorada y que la, es una de las... La gente se cuida mucho de otras cosas, pero siempre se olvida de los pulmones, que es el, el órgano que, que es más importante para vivir, ¿no? Que la calidad del aire en general es muy mala, que hay muchas enfermedades y hay muchos patógenos malos en el aire. Me he hecho una espirometría que no, no sabía ni que existía, o sea que me ha parecido muy educativo. The programme doesn't just happen at the Congress, so that's the starting point each year for the campaign for the rest of the year. So what we do is we encourage people here at the Congress to come along, to pick up toolkits, to pick up things that they can use to take this campaign back to where they come from. So everyone may have different issues in their different countries and their different communities. So what we're saying is if you have a high smoking rate, please take all our smoking tools, go back, hold a Healthy Lungs for Life event and make a difference where you live. We have open grants for, for organizations who would like to do uh, Healthy Lungs for Life 
project and we receive uh, answers from all over the world, from Asia, from Africa, from South America, you name it. The impact on the city varies depending on where we go. What we hope we can do is create a basis for activities to continue. So if I take London for an example, we really focus on clean air and now London is really active in the field of clean air. I'm not saying we were responsible for that, but we certainly kick-started a lot of activity, brought together a lot of different stakeholders in the field to make it a key priority for them. So it's really about legacy, starting something that can continue when we leave and can make a big difference in the future. The key thing about Healthy Lungs for Life is it's a positive campaign. Campaign. We've turned something, lung disease, which is pretty unpopular, sputum, coughing, uh, wheezing, we've turned it into something positive. You know, run a race, climb the stairs, do something um, positive with your lungs. And I think that's really innovative. Certainly in the lung field, we've been talking about disease for a long time. Also, we are engaging all different stakeholders. This isn't just for healthcare professionals, this isn't just for the public, this isn't just for politicians, it's for everybody. And I think in a campaign like this, unless we're addressing all those different audiences, it won't be effective.